the Derby and they're racing and Sikorsky from barrier number five, one of the better ones away. Savioka is going to drop back. Farouk is driving up on the inside with Fink and Big. Almost seven across the track at the post. And there's Severate charging over. Wants a piece of the action. Also up there, Savoir, Toll, Mac and Louis the legend. Fink and Big's in a bit of a scrimmage there. Then Sikorsky and Farouk on the inside. A length and a half away next is home ground and Chapada from Mickey Blue Eyes, Stars of Karam. Behind those horses, Grinzinger, Star, Arameo, Savvy Oak and then came for Zao and at the end is Extra Brute heading towards the 1800 metre marker and it's on the inside Severate leading Louis the Legend, Tolmac three deep, a length away Savoir fourth on the fence, next in the field one off there is Think and Big getting a nice run on the outside of Farouk and they were followed by Chapada, further back is Sikorsky on the outside of those and then came home ground Mickey Blue Eyes as they reach the 1500 metre marker, Savvy Oak on the fence and then Stars of Karam, Arameo's well back three deep. In that group is Grinzinger, Star, and then Extra Brute and Vazal. So approaching the 1300 metre marker. Yeah. And the leader is Severate and is going to keep them running by two lengths to Tolmac. A couple of lengths away, Savoir third on the fence, followed by Louis the Legend. A length and a half away for Rook and Think and Big. And this leader, Severate, stringing them out. It's now four lengths in front of Chiquetta Lodge. So with about 1100 metres to go, Severate about three or four Tolmac. Then Savoir on the fence from Louis the Legend at the 1,000 metres. This is going to be a stamina sapping derby. Think and Big next to the outside, followed by Farouk, a gap Sikorsky and then Chapada, home ground Arameo, next along the inside Mickey Blue Eyes, Stars of Karam from Extra Brute and then came Savvy Oak well back in the field, Grinzinger Star and Bazal coming up towards the turn at the 600 metres Severate felt for with on the outside, Tolmac here they come now, Farouk out deeper on the track with Fink and Big who presents to the middle of the track then Louis the legend to the outside Sikorsky, extra brutes running on now and Arameo's tracking him across the track at the 300 Sikorsky goes to the lead but here's extra brute, extra brute takes the lead from Sikorsky, then home ground stars of Cameron running on from Arameo, it's extra brute at the 150 nicking to fight stars of Cameron coming out after him extra brute a length, a length and a quarter he's brave, he's strong Sikorsky, followed by home ground Arameo, Savioke, Vazal Mickey Blue Eyes, Farouk, Grinzinger Star, Think and Bigger Gap Tolmac, then Savoir, a long gap Severate, and Louis the Legend at the end of the field The 164th running of the Amy Victoria Derby goes to Darren Weir and John Allen with Extra Brute proving far too good, winning his fourth race from six career starts and the most important of his career for the summer of Doomsday Spicer Thoroughbreds and Aquas Farm. Aquas only bought into the horse recently and they've been rewarded in spades. An outstanding winner of the Derby, defeating Stars of Karen last week's Vars winner. He's run terrifically well for Robbie Lang and Ben Mellon. And third has gone to Chapada for Mike Maroney and James McGonald. Three, four and ten. Clint Hutchison, he proved today that he could stay. He certainly stayed and it was an interesting race because the pressure was on early. That first four or five hundred metres and the favourite was part of it. It was quite telling in the end, but Extra Brute back to Flemington, kept uh, the powder dry until late in the race, but he was as impressive today as I thought he was really a couple of starts back, and the runner-up stars of Karen was very good too. But Extra Brute, I think, a de very deserving winner this year, Shane. Certainly was, and it was an outstanding performance. Overall time, 234.31. That's a second outside of the long-standing course record held by Corchaban. This will be a magic moment for the Irishman, John Allen, who's had some great success in Australia. Courtesy of Lucruff, Johnny Allen joins Chris Simons. Well, Johnny Allen, this is what it's all about. You're here on Derby Day. This is what everyone wants to win, and you've done it. Yeah, look unreal. <laughs> Oh, credit to the horse. Obviously, he was disappointing the last day, but geez, he won good today. Um, got a long way back, and just well, we got on the back of um, the good Austin horse early, which I thought was a good horse to bring us into the race. But he, he was gone at the 600 and had to peel off his back, and geez, he rounded him up in a matter of strides and ended up being in front too soon. But um, look, he was tough, he held on well, and yeah, unbelievable. This is probably your biggest moment in racing. Let's just go back. Two years ago, you were riding at Mortlake. Here you are today at Flemington headquarters, winning the Group 1 event. 
and you were the last man standing out there. Yeah, look unbelievable, and obviously a big thank you to Darren Weir and his team and Brad Spicer and the team for giving me the opportunity to ride the horse. And yeah, look unbelievable, really. And well, this uh, coming along way in a couple of years, and that's all due to Darren Weir and his team. Well, you've had an enormous spring, spring so far, and I can see it's only going to get better. It's going to be a great week for you, Johnny. Yeah, I'd just like to give a shout out to my um, parents and family at home. They, um, they get up and nearly watch all my big races religiously in the middle of the night, so uh, shout out to them. Well done, John. Yes, thank you.